Right, okay, welcome back to what is episode three of what we like to call Pro Shop, where I, as an average golfer, check out the latest sort of deals and offers that are out there that perhaps could save you a whole load of money in buying some gear that you perhaps aren't aware of at the prices, which I'm gonna tell you about in today's video. It is in conjunction with our partner, Hot Golf, and everything that you see featured in today's video is available via them. Let's get stuck into what is a real exciting episode because I've got some real humdingers in here today that uh, for those of you who are upset by the prices of new product, you might wanna take advantage of some of the things that we're gonna showcase in today's video. And that starts off with a product from Odyssey. It is their Triple Track 10 putter. We've got a whole range of these to look at, but specifically, I've been trying this out on the course. I'll give you my opinion very, very shortly. We've also got a Cleveland wedge. It's from that RTX zip core range. It's their previous model. RTX 6 has just been launched. There's some huge bargains to be had on the RTX 5 zip core. We're then gonna have a look at a watch from ShotScope and some balls from Bridgestone. And I'm gonna finish off things with a bag from Callaway, which uh, you can put all this stuff in and carry it round on another real, real good price for what is a real, real good product as well. Let's go back to the beginning and start with that Odyssey Triple Track 10 putter. Try saying that, that's not too easy without your teeth in properly. First thing I wanna say is I tried this out on course across a number of rounds, to be honest with you. I love triple track as a concept in both in terms of the golf ball and now they've brought that alignment aid into the putter as well. For a lot of people, if they start faffing around too much, this could make the game a whole lot longer. So assuming we get this all together quite quickly and our ball on the line that we wanna start our ball rolling off at in terms of at the hole, putter then in line with the ball fantastic but what about the putter's performance itself well it's a very much a stable mallet style putter there's some great perimeter weighting that you can see at the back end and i'm again a big fan personally of mallet putters suits my stroke it's the type of thing that i would put in the bag in terms of the white insert that's very familiar with a lot of people have used odyssey putters over the year it's on the super soft side i would say but it's tried and tested and trusted and you know you're gonna end up with a good product. But the big deal is right now, if you're looking to buy the latest Odyssey models, that's Odyssey 11, then they're 249 UK pounds. And what I'm about to tell you is that you can buy the Odyssey 10 range from Hot Golf for 129 pounds. Now that kind of thing blows my mind, to be honest with you, because as you know on this channel, all I ever do is review new products. So this opportunity to bring you some of these kind of deals out there and to be able to source these kind of deals via Hot Golf has been a real eye opener for me personally. But like I said, to be able to relay that kind of information to yourselves, uh, I feel like we're sort of covering each end of the spectrum. So if you want to save a few quid, quid, then take a look at just what is available in terms of that Odyssey 10 lineup. And there are a few different models to choose from at 119 quid. To me, that is a new brain, a no brainer if you are in fact looking to get yourself a new putter of that style. I reckon that's a decent start, but we've got plenty more to come. We'll jump into another very sort of well known for what it does a brand in terms of Cleveland and wedges. That name is uh, synonymous with wedges. They make again, real good quality. And the zip core lineup, the RTX lineup is again, goes back to this tried and trusted, um, good quality build in terms of the product. Again, I loved what I had in terms of the shots I managed to get out there and play. Uh, plenty of kind of versatility, the way that the sort of sole was uh, able to be maneuvered, if you like, manipulated rather, and again, played a variety of shots with the same wedge, obviously available in right sort of through the loft range. And the big deal is this again, it's about buying the, the previous year's model, if you like. And what Hot Golf do really well is have these, these are brand new, by the way, this isn't sort of used product, but they have an excessive amount of last year's product, which is saving you a whole load of money. So RTX 6 right now is 140 quid UK pounds. That's the latest model. If you're prepared to go for last year's, this is 89.99. That's another 50 pounds saving, which is significant in terms of money in your pocket, no difference in my own honest opinion in terms of performance. I think wedge performances from over the years has 
change little if you like not a great deal and certainly the only time that i look at changing my own wedges is when they're starting to wear out a little so by buying a last year's model of a wedge to me again i'm going to use this word quite a lot or two words and that's no brainer absolutely get yourself onto an rtx zip core 5 wedge at 90 quid and you've saved yourself another fair amount of money right Next up, we're onto a watch. It's from Shotscope. It is their X5. Now, this is their latest version. And the reason this is featured is because I think they've developed this watch quite significantly over the years. I remember trying one of the initial versions of this. And to be quite honest with you, with all due respect to Shotscope, it was like having a brick on your arm. It was a fairly hefty thing. And that's been refined and refined. And this year's model to me is the best that they've done so far. First of all, in how it looks and how it sits on your wrist, because Again, initially, I didn't really like having the bulk on my wrist when I was swinging a golf club. I kind of knew it was there, got in the way. That's the complete opposite with this thing. Super, super light. Don't notice it on the wrist at all. Accuracy in terms of details, that sort of front, middle and back, what you can uh, achieve in terms of that GPS yardage is then superb. Again, couldn't grumble at all with that. What I didn't do, you'll be provided with, I think it's 16 of the tags that you can screw into the top, uh, the butt of your golf club, which will then be able to track your uh, performance post round. It'll start to tell you sort of great averages in terms of how far you hit each club. Then what it does is over a number of rounds, when you arrive in a position and it's 170 yards out, it will also tell you on that screen what iron you should hit based on the yardages that you've recorded in previous rounds, which is a real, real clever feature. And something that, to be quite honest with you, the whole sort of tagging of clubs and monitoring post round data, for me on a personal level, it's a bit too much uh, analysis. It's not something that I would do, but for a lot of golfers, I know that's something you would be very much interested in. And I think having that information to hand, particularly that sort of average distance hit with each club in the bag has got to be really good and useful information for when you're in your round of golf. And the good thing is it's just easily accessible. You're not rooting through yardage books and all the rest of it. It's just a quick look at the wrist and it says right 180 yards, pick up your five iron, your four iron or whatever it is that you should play. Really, really clever. But for me, I'm, um, I've got a, the thing has got to look good. First of all, I don't want to be walking around with that brick on my arm, which they first produced and they do a fantastic job of producing what is a real good looking watch that can be used in that style as well. So again, really, really good. This one comes in uh, a bit of a price tag on it. It's 279 quid. But what I will say again is that compare it to other options out there. And I still think that Shotscope are really pitching this one in at a good number. And with what it's sort of providing, I think we can't really grumble at that price tag. Right, quick glance down. What's next? Golf ball, Bridgestone. Unreal performance in terms of their whole range, to be honest with you, Bridgestone golf balls. And again, I know a lot of you sort of uh, really impressed with how their golf balls perform across the range. And every time I do golf ball reviews, someone will always throw in, have you tried the Bridgestone this? Have you tried the Bridgestone that? If I'm honest with you, not a real big user of their product. And I was given these um, a couple of weeks ago. This is the Bridgestone Extra Soft. Just an all-round good performing golf ball. And I did a video with Lewis um, just uh, a week or so ago and I had these balls in the bag and we were reviewing the mini driver. And uh, I didn't tell him what golf ball we were using, but I asked him after sort of half a dozen shots, what did he think of the performance of the golf ball? Yeah, really good. He said, I've not really noticed anything specific about it, but it seems fine. And um, the interesting thing was when I told him it was an extra soft ball, he was really surprised in terms of, you know, it wasn't the kind of, you normally associate that may be a little bit spinny in terms of performance off the driver. It wasn't. And I had a real good balance of feel. I've played it again through a number of different rounds, really impressed. But what I'm really getting at now is where this is really interesting is that price point again, because that's what effectively Pro Shop is all about. Highlight the products that are good performers, but can save you a whole load of money. And Hot Golf are selling these at the moment for $17.99 a dozen, which for me, again, I included a tailor-made ball in not so long ago, um, which I think at a standard price is around £15 a dozen. This thing 
for that extra couple of quid is a far better all-round performer again to be quite honest with you and it just shocks me that for most average golfers there is more than enough performance attributes within this ball than you're ever gonna need or be able to make benefit from in my opinion i've always been an advocate of that don't be buying a high-end balls this kind of thing is just perfect just make sure you're using the same ball all all the time keep it consistent and then you're going to see those consistent results in your own performance but yeah a bridgestone ball extra soft 17.99 another big winner for me Right, so I'm going to finish off with something that we've not featured so far. It's a bit of an unusual one. It's a carry bag. It's because I wanted, um, we were filming a video with all Car Callaway product paradigm and I needed a Callaway bag. I had a look at this one in store. First of all, it got my attention because of the price point. But then I've seen these previous models before. This is the Chev C carry stand bag. And uh, just first of all, I, I, maybe, I don't know, maybe, maybe all bags are ergonomic in the ones that you've tried but for me i stick someone on my back and i just do not like them don't feel comfortable with them at all uh, this thing is exactly what i want it to be stuck it on felt really comfortable it's a lightweight bag to start with it's got bundles of pockets and the, uh, compartments and all the rest that you need um looks good again which is always a thing to me i always like uh, a good looking product first of all and i think callaway have done that well and it's priced at 89.99 so you've got your golf uh you've got your putter you've got your wedges you've got your golf ball stick them all into that bag and uh, if you did a price comparison against a whole load of what ifs you could have bought as uh, opposites to these things at their latest models if you like you've just saved yourself a whole load of money to be quite honest with you and yet again i'm really pleased to have brought this video to you with hot golf because i can't i i mean i'm shocked if you like at just how good some of these things are like i said in episode one I don't want this to be a sales video. I couldn't care less whether you bought any of these or not. It's just a great way for me to highlight things when quite often all I do is review brand new product and the constant criticism, not, not of me, or at least I hope it's not, is that the price of these things from the brands has gone absolutely ridiculous. Golf has become so expensive. I have to agree with that. So the idea of Pro Shop, like I said in the intro, is to try and highlight some options that mean you're getting really, really good product but not having to break the bank for it. Right, that's me done. End of episode three. Let me know your thoughts and feedback. I'll include links below for all these products that are featured back to Hot Golf. And um, I'd be interested to know what your thoughts are. And many of you might have the uh, originals from when these came out last year. Let me know how they're doing in terms of performance. And finally, if you would like to see me feature anything in particular in the next episode of this or future episodes, then also please let me know. Right, as ever, thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow night.